Can I tell you about my friend named Grief? I, I recognize him as this hooded guy that lurks in those dark corners of my mind who honestly isn't all that bad. It's just I can sense he's made of pain. So I dread when he visits. When I was young, my best friend at the time erased one of my Pokemon games and I lost all of my virtual friends and they were never coming back. When this happened, grief came to visit and I didn't even know it. My little ones and zeros configured onto a computer chip in a way that shows images of powerful creatures that loved me unconditionally. Or at least, that's how I saw it. But when I went to my mom and told her what happened, she just told me, It's just a game, Luke. My friend Grief really wanted to be seen in that moment, but it's so hard to see him when it's about something that seems so insignificant. I've had people around me experience the loss of a loved one. People that, maybe from the eyes of my own movie, were only supporting characters whose lives I didn't know too much about because I was so preoccupied surviving my own that I neglected to see them and learn about their own complexities. It made me feel like grief was also a supporting character, that he too was someone I didn't have to worry about, but out of common courtesy, I would still acknowledge his presence. But now he's here with me, a main character, Latched onto me like a friend who won't let go of a hug, squeezing tighter so he can try to make all my broken pieces feel whole again. He just won't let go. Grief reminds me that one of the most painful things we could ever do is say goodbye. But I'm surprised that he can be comforting sometimes too, especially when you surrender to him. Because up close, you see that he's not actually made of pain, but instead he compassionately helps you through it, sitting there with you in the darkness, being my equal, holding me while saying, this is really hard, isn't it? 